everyone, welcome back to Beauty with Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a first impression review slash get ready with me using the new Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. So I will be wearing this all day and I will update you at the end of the day just to let you know how it looks. I will give you a review and show you at the end of the day how it looks like. I will also bring you outside so you can see what it looks like in natural lighting. So far I have to say I have the lightest color which is porcelain but I feel like it's not that light and it doesn't match perfectly my body right now because I'm a little bit more tan but if you're really fair it might not match you. As for the claims it says that it's oil free which personally I have dry skin so it's not necessarily an issue. It also claims to be weightless and I have to say for the amount of coverage that it gives me I don't feel it on my skin. Like sometimes full coverage foundation like MAC Pro Longwear for example you can really feel it on your face. Not an issue right now. It also contains coconut water and some hyaluronic acid, so it is supposed to be moisturizing. So far, my skin feels moisturized, which I have dry skin, so I expected full coverage to be a little bit too much, but so far, my skin does seem to love it. I will let you know at the end of the day how it looks and how it feels on my skin at that time. I'm gonna apply the Too Faced Hangover Primer on half my face just to see if it makes a difference, if that side will be more moisturized or less dry, if that's the case with the foundation. So I'm gonna apply it to my left side, so it's gonna be your right side. It does smell like coconut, so if you were wondering. <laughs> As I said earlier, the main review will be at the end, but first impression, I have to say, it seems to give me a good amount of coverage. The color range was a little bit tricky to find a perfect shade for me. Like, when I was looking at the swatches online, I would have said I was probably nude, but I decided to try the color porcelain just because it's always safer and when I swatched them I felt like it oxidized to the best shade for me. I felt like nude ended up being a little bit too peachy for me. But right now I do feel like my face is much lighter than my body. For today I'll just apply a bit of bronzer and we'll call it a day. I didn't have any major imperfection but I do feel like it covered most of any uh, redness that I have. It did make my face pretty even too. So let's continue the tutorial. I'm going to cover my dark circles using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So currently don't have any eyebrows and and now I do. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of lip balm before doing my eye makeup so my lips will be moisturized and soft whenever I want to apply some lipstick later. I'm gonna quickly prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oops. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I will start by using the color Coconut Creme all over my lid up to my brow just so anything will be easier to blend out. I'm gonna start by using a big fluffy brush just to blend out a transition color. I'm gonna use the Sigma E40 and I'm gonna use the color Mousse. I won't be focusing the color just at the outer corner. I will bring it into the inner corner too because we're going for a more rounder shape. I'm applying just a little bit at a time and I blend, blend, blend and go back and put some more color. If you want it to be really warmer, you can also use the color peanut butter, but personally, too warm won't suit me. I'm just going to use peanut butter when I'm using more in the crease, less over the crease. Using a smaller, more precise brush, I'm using the E25 by Sigma. I will be applying the color truffle in my crease and on both sides of my lids, and I will be blending it out with the E40, and then I just reapply some more truffle, reblend it, just take your time in between just to build up the color. To make sure the other color will pop, I'm going to use a little bit of the NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil just right here when I'm going to apply the gold shade just so it will really stand out. I'm using the color Caramel right where I applied Milk. I'm going back again with Truffle and Mousse just in the crease just to blend it out a bit and reapplying a bit more truffle on the sides just to deepen it up a bit. And again, I just blend it. If you want it to be a little bit warmer, you can use a little bit more peanut butter just to blend it out. You can use a clean fluffy brush in your crease just to blend out even more. So I'm gonna go and do the same thing in the bottom part. I'm gonna start by using a little bit of mousse on both sides. And then using a little bit of truffle 
closer to the lash line. I'm gonna apply a little bit more milk where I'm gonna apply the gold shade. And then I'm gonna apply the color caramel. I'm gonna start by applying the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer all over my face to try and make my face match the rest of my body. <laughs> Using a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna use Benefit Dallas to just add a little bit more color to my cheeks. It's gonna be bronzer also on me, but just a little bit more rosy so it gives me a little bit of color. My face is already pretty glowy from the foundation, but I'm gonna apply a little bit of the e.l.f. Baked Blush in the color Pinktastic just to the top of my cheekbones. You could use a brown eyeliner and just smudge it off, but I'm gonna use the Kat Von D uh, liquid liner, the tattoo liner in Trooper. Just gonna follow really close to my lash line just to give me a little bit more definition. I've been trying out the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and so far I really like it. The brush is a little difficult to start using, like you have to get the hang of it, but otherwise I really like the effect. Just to add a little bit more lashes, I'm gonna use these really natural Ardell lashes. I think they're the 110. Yes, they are the 110. So I will be applying the second one. So that's what it looks like with, and that's what it looks like without. So as you can see, fairly natural. It doesn't give me a cat eye because I'm trying to avoid that. I'm really trying to do a rounder makeup look. So this is what the eye makeup finally looks like. To finish the look, I'll use the Too Faced La Creme uh, lipstick in the color Nude Beach. I decided to show you how I did my hair. I applied a little bit of the Living Proof Full Root Lifting Hairspray that I used to give my hair a little bit more volume. It doesn't dry out my uh, scalp as much as dry shampoo would. Plus, there's no white cast. I then decided to do a little bit of a braid in front because my hair was bugging me, so I decided to pin it back with a bobby pin. I will include a picture showing you the range of colors. I have to say that there's not a really, really light foundation and there's not many choices if you have deep skin tones, but anywhere in between you will be able to find a shade for you. There's some really yellow shades and some more neutral shades. Personally, like I said, I was using the lightest one. This is the color Purslane, which isn't that white. I feel like when I first freshly swatched them on my hand, I feel like nude was probably the best match for me right now but they do oxidize a little bit, which I will show you a clip of that. And I feel like once it's oxidized, porcelain is closer to my natural skin tone. Nudes seem to be a little bit too peachy for me, at least right now, maybe with a little bit of a tan, I would be able to pull it off, but right now it's just more comfortable using porcelain. So I've been currently wearing the foundation for around two hours, and again, my skin still looks really nice, but I thought I would bring you outside because it is a really sunny day, so what better way to see how it looks like on the skin than outside, right? So this is what the foundation looks like outside. As you can probably tell, there's a little less pore on the side that I applied some primer, but it does look fairly natural for something that is so full coverage. Like, it really looks like skin. You can see that I'm wearing makeup, obviously, but it is fairly natural. So it is almost 8 o'clock, so I've been wearing this foundation for around 8 hours, and I have to say I'm really impressed. I didn't expect it to like it this much. Like. I was looking at myself uh, in the car and mirror and I was really surprised that for something that is so like medium to full coverage, for me for example I usually go for something light coverage so this for me is full coverage and it did cover any redness, I usually have red cheeks and everything is so perfect right now, it's kind of crazy. The only thing is that you can see my pores just over here but honestly it's not any worse than any other foundation. I feel like a little bit of primer over there would just fix the issue or most of it. But I have to say, the rest of my face is so like flawless and it's not dry. Surprisingly, it's not dry. As you can probably see, there's still a lot of glowiness to it. It just feels perfect. It didn't move, it doesn't feel, feel dry, it doesn't feel uh, oily either. Not that it, that would happen like ever, but surprisingly, even my nose, which is always where I will show you that I have dry patches, nothing. Today was actually really sunny and really warm and I didn't feel like sweaty or anything. You know sometimes you're wearing a foundation that is full coverage and you can just feel it like melting on your face but I haven't had the issue. 
I approve this foundation. <laughs> and even the eye makeup stayed pretty well all day long. A little of the bottom part did fade, but I wasn't wearing any primer too, but the top part still looks pretty much exactly the same. So if you can find a shade in the range, I really recommend trying it. I'm really happy with it. So overall, really pleased with the foundation. We'll keep wearing it. I wouldn't be surprised if it makes my June favorites too. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you are planning on trying the Too Faced foundation. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if it's not already done. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.